Uh, welcome to Berlin, where I have a band called Broken Hope with me. First of all, guys, uh, welcome to Berlin. Thank you. Uh, the band doesn't really need introductions, so let's start with how is Broken Hope circa 2017 doing? Well, uh, we're off to a really great 2017. Our seventh studio album, Mutilated and Assimilated, came out in June of this year and it's done very well and uh we're on our first real tour supporting the album here in europe and uh as we do this interview tonight we are in berlin which is the final show of our first tour supporting the album and uh the uh press worldwide in terms of reviews uh exposure just everything this has really been positive really embrace this new album so um it's been a great year for for the band anybody care to chime in okay indeed the uh, new album mutilated and assimilated hit the stores in june how would you describe the album in your own words i would say the album uh, is definitely a step up from the last one and uh it's conceptually based on the movie the thing so uh, the lyrical content and the subject matter is pretty much on point with that movie for the most part. Yeah, you have been uh, playing around Europe with the Hell on Earth tour almost uh, for a month now. How has the tour been with you? Well, tour so far has been pretty good. Everybody's really friendly. Everybody's been really supportive. All the bands have doing their own job. Really good turnouts. Everybody's been kicking ass. Um, Glory, Tol- Glory Hole Guillotine is a really good opening band. And we have the guys from Italy, from Rome, uh, Hades Divinity. Awesome guys, really friendly. And our friends from long time, um, Cal Decapitation, they really know how to deliver a good show as well. And we all get along really well, actually. It's been a really easy tour since day one uh, to the last day, which is today. Yeah, a new album out and you are touring. Uh, how does the future for the band look like at the moment? We've got plans uh, from now. Let's see, we're doing this interview on uh, September 24th, 2017. So next month we go to South America and we're doing a great festival there with Septic Flesh and Flesh God Apocalypse in Bogota, Colombia. And then we've got another festival in the U.S. that we're playing called Denver Black Sky Festival. And uh, then in the 2018, we're coming back to Europe in March and then coming back in the summer of 2018 to play festivals and whatnot. And uh, in between all that stuff, I'm sure we're going to be busy doing other stuff. There's always, fortunately, offers that keep coming in. So... Um, just really looks busy from here on out, so it's a uh, pretty good time to be in Broken Hope. Uh, if we could uh, dwell a bit in the past also, the band came back together in 2012. What things led to this reunion and how was the public reception at the time? Well, <clears throat> uh, I, I basically put the brakes on Broken Hope in 2002. Uh, just because I was really unhappy with uh, the lineup. We had some original members that were gone, and um, I was touring worldwide with a bunch of hired hands, and they, those hired hands just weren't cutting it for me in terms of professionalism and musicianship and all that good stuff. So um, I didn't plan to be gone for 10 years, but that's the way it worked out. And over those 10 years... Um, I was still writing Broken Hope music and lyrics. Uh, and I, at one point, I talked to our old singer, Joe, about getting back with Broken Hope and doing something. and uh, But nothing ever happened with that. And then um, it wasn't until, uh, I don't know, 2011, I, I hooked up with our drummer we have now, Mike Michek, and we started jamming Broken Hope songs. And Mike's just an incredible drummer. And... Um, is at that point I'm like I'd really like to finally just really get to work on bringing Broken Hope back. So Mike and I were working great together, and uh, we found Damien, who's in the band Gorgasm, 
and approached him about doing vocals for Broken Hope, and he jumped on board. And uh, so Damien, Mike, and I have been the core of Broken Hope pretty solid since early 2012, I'd say. And, um, and now we have Diego Soria, uh, who's also been in the band Discord from the United States. And we have Matt Schlotka on lead guitar. He was in the band Chimera before this. And uh, we've got a really solid lineup. Um, but what led up to this whole thing was there when we like went to, off the map in 2012, I was constantly, uh, for 10 years, constantly getting offers from promoters around the world to bring Broken Hope back. And the fans never let up on, on their love for Broken Hope. And that's something I always greatly appreciated. Um, but I, I wanted to do it right. And... Thankfully, these guys and Mike and Matt were the made it right. That made the Broken Hope version that I dreamed of, and it's all it's our band. Broken Hope is our band, and um, it's uh, it's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, uh, what did you do in the decade that the Broken Hope was uh, on a break? Uh, two things. I was focused on writing fiction, so I became a published author, and I, I still write full time, like dark fiction, horror, horror stuff, and whatnot. And um, I formed a band called Lupara, and we did one album and a video that did good, pretty good on MTV's Headbangers Ball in the United States. So I did that for a few years, and. Um, I made a grindcore band called Earthburner, and um, so I, I stayed productive, you know. But and I did all that stuff. And again, I did write material for Broken Hope that actually found its way into our sixth album, Omen of Disease, that came out in 2013. So, um, but yeah, I. Uh, I didn't uh, sit on my ass all those years. I actually kept busy. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, uh, you are the founder of the band and the only member who has been there through the thick and thin all the years. Uh, how would you describe this uh, amazing journey through all these years? I've told people that the story of Broken Hope is kind of like a Greek tragedy. It's had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. It's had band members die tragically and original members Joe Thychak and then Ryan Stanick uh, he also passed away a couple years ago and those were the two guys with me the three of us form you know form broken hope when we were in high school kids you know um, but that said we've had uh, just it's been a hell of a journey uh, next year will be the 30th anniversary of Broken Hope when I formed the band with Joe and Ryan in 1988. And um, um, it's uh, amazing to be here after all these years, you know. Um, we, uh, in a way, with the new album, Mutilated and Assimilated, um, I think it's the strongest maybe most ferocious Broken Hope album. And that's no disrespect to the past or, Pat, you know, Joe or Ryan or anything. I'm still alive, walking the earth, and uh, as long as I'm here, Broken Hope will be a viable band because, as you pointed out, I'm one of the three founding fathers of the band. So, uh, you know, when I play this music with the, my bandmates now, the old stuff... You know, is in a way uh, keeps the the spirit alive of, of Joe and Ryan in a way, and um, uh, I think where I'm at now in 2017, just looking back, it's uh, the best time I've ever had in Broken Hope. Again, no disrespect to the the past, but there's something about longevity and being around so long that. Um, there's things that great things that happen now that I never saw coming because of the name 
the legacy. You know, our record label, Century Media, calls us a legacy band. And um, with that legacy, um, seems, you know, there's, I don't know whether it's respect or, or love uh, from fans, but we have a lot of new fans, too. You know, like, they're really young, which is really cool to see. And um, we one thing is I've never compromised on the music or the lyrics. We're still extreme heavy heavier than hell and uh i just turned 47 like three and a half weeks ago and um i'm having the time of my life and broken hope it's like i was you know it's like 30 years ago when i was 17 you know i still feel excited and love death metal man i love broken hope and i love my fucking bandmates that i'm with that's what all makes it worthwhile and the fans make it worthwhile so Glad to be here. Uh, yeah, uh, like you said, the band was formed in uh, 1988, uh, taking a trip down to Memory Lane. Uh, the band was formed uh, only one year after Death's uh, legendary uh, album Scream Bloody Gore. That's considered the first true death metal album. In hindsight, uh, do you remember any special feelings or thoughts of that time, you know, being a death metal pioneer? Yeah, um, when I when I formed Broken Hope uh, in high school, before that, I was trying to form other bands, and I had all these names like Decimation was a name and Vile Demise and stuff. And I was at the time I was in this. There's a window of time where I was really into heavy thrash, so Slayer's Rain and Blood. Dark Angel, Darkness Descends, stuff like that was at the time really heavy. And then within within like 12 to 24 months time, Death Metal caught my attention in a big way. And like you're saying, Death, Scream Bloody Gore, um, you know, even, you know, Celtic Frost and, uh, you know, you know, the emergence of, 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 of you know, like Napalm Death and, and uh sepultura and all this stuff really got me going like wow i thought slayer and dark angel were super heavy and extreme death metal i always wanted to play heavy the heaviest music possible and i found it in death metal so 1988 that's when i realized death metal is what i'm doing then we formed this band broken hope and uh we were on on a mission to be the heaviest death metal band possible and i was just caught in that wave you know when all the 88 89 90 you saw you know all the pioneering death metal bands coming out and uh it was really exciting time and cool to be a part of it and um i was lucky enough to i've opened for the classic death lineup and so many great bands and um and all those bands influenced me and inspired me and uh so I have very fond memories down memory lane, looking back uh, about all that. I still do. It's great. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, break a leg okay. tonight. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate the interview. Cheers.